Uh, my name is Alex Carrillo. I'm from New York City. I'm a sophomore at Yale University, and I'm working in Belgium at IMEC doing uh, neuroelectronics research. I maintained a very strong interest in engineering throughout high school. And so while I was applying, I was looking for schools that had good engineering programs. But at the same time, I also wanted a kind of broad experience uh, in that I really love history, I love writing. And so I was looking for something that combined all those aspects. And uh, through FIRST Robotics, which is an international uh, competition uh, amongst high schools where students build robots to compete in these games, uh, I found Yale University. And I eventually uh, applied there early, and I, I got in. And so I was satisfied with that result, and so uh, you know, happily entering, entering my second year. So early decision uh, gives you a chance to take all your, care of all your applying before the, the, the mad craze in the middle of the year, uh, which is what most people experience. Uh, so I kind of saw it as an opportunity to be diligent with the, the application process and uh, have a more relaxing senior year of high school. Uh, I have an, uh, a number of peers who didn't apply early and just uh, worked through the regular cycle, and it was a very stressful time. Uh, you don't find out what college you're going to until very late into the uh, school year, whereas if you apply early, you find out by the winter, and so that gives you time to decompress a little. Well, Yale is a liberal arts institution, and so a component of that philosophy is that uh, college should not necessarily be always about the utilitarian or the practical, uh, that it should be more about learning how to learn or finding yourself or, or the like. Uh, so towards that end, uh, Yale and many other institutions allow you to take any sort of classes you like um, across disciplines. So in English and art and history, and engineering and science so that you can find out what you like and then hone in on that a little bit. Uh, and the way they do this is with some general requirements throughout the years. So at Yale, for example, as a freshman, they'll say, OK, you have to do two of three things. You have to uh, take a writing class, you have to take a science class, or you have to uh, there's, there's a, oh, a language class. Uh, do two of the three. And uh, I think that's how it works, at least. Uh, and so. There are, there are kind of broad guidelines to, to focus the students at first. Uh, but then by the end of your sophomore year, you have to declare what it is, that, what degree you will pursue. Uh, and so in the meantime, it, it gives you a chance to explore. And I've definitely been taking advantage of that. Um, so my first term, I took some sociology, anthropology type classes uh, just to explore that, that kind of more uh, writing based uh, curriculum. But at the same time, I took more engineering classes in the second term, where I did computer engineering and, and the like. So.